One lost rod, one broken rod. Here we are. Alright guys, um, so clearly this is a sketchy put-in. Um, just broke a rod to start the trip, which will show you the damage on that when we get in there, but uh, we're fishing a stretch of a river that's pretty high. So curious to see how we do today. It's flowing pretty good, but we're going to put in. Hopefully we don't break any more rods and uh, get on some small now. You what? I'm gonna go up this, I think. That is weird, I've never seen this. Is it a creek? Dude, there's a waterfall. All right, we're going up there to film. The problem is, is there's a deep cut from there. But there's really no way to get to it without going on his land, right? Which I'm not going to do that. But if you can get up and you see the bubble mark, it's deep. Very well could be a spot for a smaller to sit. Yeah, probably because I, I gotta imagine today they won't even be in here because of how murky it is. But I don't know, who knows. Alright, so this is the magic hole. Huh? Right. Smallies will stay down here in this hole in the winter and the largemouth generally go up. I caught him here. Caught him along this wall. There we go. That's a smallmouth. Oh shoot, that's a big one. I did that. I couldn't see my the end of my line. It was so muddy. There we go. That's a big one. Nice one. Huh. I knew I felt him bump it. Oh, dude, this is a beautiful one. Look at that. That's an 18, probably. I thought it was going to be a little bit longer. Look oh, at that, 17 and a half. Spinner bait. Well, there's some proof in the process. There we go. 
Little guy. Right in that, right off that grass where this current is. Dude, 13 inches. That fish was set up almost exactly how I thought he was going to be. It just wasn't very big. Wow. I just pulled this one straight out of the rapids. What was it? Literally in that. And you're gonna laugh. You're probably like, oh, a small mouth? Nope, it's a large mouth. That's a flipper right there. There we go. Oh, that's a big one. Oh shit, this might be a lost fish right here. I just pulled a clay. Oh, did you? But you caught it? I got it. It's funny because he has the same net you have. He's not as nice as I thought he was. He was just real deep in that current right there. That's a good one. Not bad. Fish. Putting together a decent day. <laughs> yeah, for the water looking like this, we're putting on a stain. Another 16 plus, so. <laughs> Pretty small mouth. Well, they might just come loose from there. Let's take a look. Always wanted. A reason to use my sog knife. How you doing? Pretty good. You guys catching anything? It's kind of slow. Yeah, water's up a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. In between those two rocks over there, on the other side where he's at, that's a pretty good spot. 
Yeah. I have a fish. That's funny. Man, he is rough. Man, he is rough looking. He looks like he has been caught 80 times in his life. Probably because he doesn't. A what? A trussle. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's a nice spot. All right, a little assist from the dude. Look at his back. Look at this. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's the third one I've seen like that in the last couple of weeks. Dude, he's probably been caught like ten times in this hole. We're in a swimming hole. Dude, that is gnarly. He's a survivor. That's cool. Did you even see how I did it? I went like this. Oh, no, you're good. You're good. I'll just come under. I, I threw it in there and I was jigging it along that bluff wall. And he, and he hammered it. Oh, I know what you're talking about, yeah. Dude, this current is something else, man. Lost my spinning rod. No, you didn't. Where at? Back there. How'd you do that? I think it got ripped out. It got oh. caught on a limb. Yeah. I guess the bungee got ripped. I had it loose from when we went up in the creek and didn't. What on that on that left too? I guess so. I don't know. It's still, it'll still be there. If we're not gonna get any rain, I'll be back right here. I'll find it. It's a good rod and reel too. That's probably my best combo I brought with me. Really? Oh, man, you're having a bad rod day. Yeah. I don't know how that happened. Unless I'm like an idiot and it's in here. But. Okay. Yeah, I, I like looked over, I was like, wait a sec, did it get ripped out? Would you hear something? I thought maybe, but it's like, that current was so swift that if I got hit, like I would never have known, you know? What color is the rod? Uh, black. Yeah. Um, the reel has some red on it. Yeah, you'd think there'd be a large mouth here. Oh, speak of the devil. A rock bass. Yeah. Well, that's one way to win in the trip. Oh dude, he's gonna he's gonna be one of these. There's those pliers. No, we don't catch many of these. But hey, something. Yeah, he stinks.
Oh, he's a feisty one. I'm probably gonna nut this guy just to get, not get hooked. Ugh. That's the first one on the crankbait. We doubled up. Oh my gosh. Never mind. Holy crap. Well, we definitely, um, that's definitely a PB. PB there. Okay. Giant rock bass. come out here and do this you might as well catch your PB uh, rock bass so it is 10 inches 10 inch rock bass at least you didn't ruin two GoPros and mess up your phone too that pretty much sums up the trip right here I, I don't know if it was worth the small mouth but one lost rod, one broken rod. Here we are. <laughs> Zero caught fish on the mag drive. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so for all the naysayers out there, check it out. In all its glory, we have recovered our Stratic CI4 Shimano with the Shimano X Pride they got ripped out of the kayak. And for those asking, does the reel still work after 72 hours in the water? Absolutely, it still works flawlessly. Unfortunately, the rod did get scuffed up quite a bit. Uh, you can see some, some scuffing there that's from bouncing under the rocks, but 72 hours in the water recovered. And so it just goes to show you lost is never forever in the river. Sometimes that current will push those lost items to the ends of the chutes and you can find them, especially as the water drops. But I'm um, glad to have this back, but that's the backstory on this, this rod getting ripped out of the kayak. Um, didn't think it'd be so controversial, but you know what? We got it back and that's the important part.